Welcome back to Cult of the Lamb, everybody. The Sins of the Flesh update hitting January 16th. Shout out to Devolver for giving us slightly early access. We started a brand new save file here live on Twitch. Got the Twitch integration all connected and working. And we're going to start a, a brand new journey here. In a game that we already know is great and has only gotten better. Now has additional content. Ideally, the integration is working better. I'm pretty pumped. Let's be sacrificed. To my eye, before us stands the last of its kind. All others we have hunted down and put to the blade. With this final sacrifice, the prophecy will be impossible to fulfill. The heretic who lies bound below will be condemned to eternal captivity. And the old faith shall be preserved. Odds on me remembering any of the four of those voices. Slim to none. I remember loving just about every element of this game, and it is clear to me that that was not an ill-founded opinion. Come closer. Fear not, for though you are already dead, I still have need of you. I think I did something wildly different for this one. Those foolish opinions. No, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Those foolish bishops thought they could keep you from me in death, but instead they sent you straight to me. I will give you life again, but at a price. All I ask is for you to start a cult in my name. Do we have a deal? Absolutely. Nice choice. Take the red crown which I once wore. Oh, am I just quiet? That might be it. Yeah, maybe you just crank me up a little bit. With it, you shall command the loyalty of followers and strike fear into the hearts of our enemies. Return to the land of the living. Start a cult in my name and begin recruiting followers. Once you have done so, you will see me again. Now go! Are we good here? Sorry, I know that we uh, had to replace a cable yesterday or the day before that as well, so things have been a little scatterwampus. Cult of the Lamb! Sweet. We're back! Okay. Time to remember how to play this. Give me a seems good if our audio balance feels right. Also throw a bear hug in there for Dantanamo Bay. Thank you very much for the 19 months in the time. Appreciate you welcome on back. Nice. We're good to go, baby. Oh yeah. It's coming back now, dude. This is a good game. Definitely looking forward to returning. Fear not, I am Ratao, and I was once a chosen vessel like you, but those days are lost to the winds. I was sent to guide you. We are deep in the lands of the old faith and in grave danger. My instructions are to lead you to safety. Continue through the woods. Escape lies ahead. I will be close by. Can't not destroy everything. Come on now. Oh, that, wow. I, I had assumed I was in a cinematic there. Okay, okay, okay. Respect it. Coordinated effort. Well played. Oh, that's not the right button. Here we go. A currency used for all manner of things. Now, among the new update stuff, apparently is a currency called Sin, which, weirdly, we're familiar with the idea of Sin as a form of currency. And also is like a, a final boss, both conceptually and literally. Really just weirdly familiar with the, the entire idea, but I'm looking forward to seeing what sort of uh, 
sort of things we can uh, purchase with our sin points. Maybe some cute little outfits. You'll be able to customize the, the look of your Twitch integrated villagers here as well, I believe, which is going to be fun. I can't stop myself. This is just... I don't even know if there's any value to this yet. It's just necessary. Although now that I've left one behind, I'm beginning to question everything I ever knew. Thanks for the coins. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, and our first follower. I think. Oh, yeah. We nearly reach safety, but look ahead. Another poor soul about to be sacrificed. Rescue them, and they would have no choice but to join your new cult. Oh, mighty bishops of the old faith, we ask you to accept the sacrifice of this wretched soul. Hey, who interrupts our ritual and trespasses on sacred ground? Your worst nightmare. Oh, the multi kill. Get him. Get him. Roll, flip, slash, win. Hey, buddy. Nice. Follower awaits indoctrination. Nice and toasty warm first. And off we go. We have reached safety. You've done well. The red crown will allow you to use those markings on the ground to transport yourself great distances. It will take you to a temple that is fallen to ruin. There you will be able to begin your new cult. I'll meet you there. Bear, please don't make us eat the poop soup again. It didn't make you do anything. If I recall correctly, there were several of you, like, begging for poop soup. I think I put that on the menu? Cleanse the non-believers. Poop soup sounds like a Kanye song. I mean, it, it, it almost is. Although that's, like, one of the few things that I actually respect Kanye for. Is putting that song out literally just to spite someone i shouldn't like I, I, that's yet another uh thing about him that i shouldn't respect him for but i can't help myself i think i'll go for medium difficulty i don't, I don't need to i don't need to prove nothing to nobody is it bad this hallowed ground which was once mine is now yours this crumbling ruin is to be the site of your new cult. We have much to do. We begin by indoctrinating this poor soul into the warm embrace of your cult. Followers can gather resources for you. Order this one to collect lumber or stone. Oh boy. Why does it feel so wide? I think maybe I need to like... Some sort of like FOV. I don't think so. I don't remember it being this big, but maybe it'll feel a little smaller once I actually have things I'm running around to. Shalomba, Gaia. Please spare me. Oh, baby. Hopefully this works. Let's find out. All right. The extension should be working on, I believe, both mobile and desktop. So uh, this, I think, is an extension thing. So if you're looking to get into the raffle here, I believe you enter via that. Uh, no, no pick me necessary this time. It's, it's all through the extension on this one. Can't stop you from typing pick me. Like, if you feel like maybe that'll help your odds, by all means. Add the extension, and then a window pops up if you want to join the cult. Yeah, so. And they they told us in the little tutorial window that uh, mobile integration should be working here as well. So here's hoping. Got 
there just in time, son. Nice. All right, cool. Last call for this. Uh, I don't think you should need to add it to your channel. No, that seems that seems unnecessary. Honestly, I don't actually know what the interface that you're dealing with looks like at all, so... Hopefully the mods can maybe clarify a little bit more. Uh, we'll wait until we hit uh, maybe 60 here. It seems like a nice round even number. Last call if you'd like to be chosen. It's our first follower after a mine. It's, it's a special moment. I want to make sure anybody that wants to gets the chance. Yeah, it's all good, Westy. I mean, I apologize if you wanted to get in, but... All right, here we go. Who's it going to be? Grammar Socialist has won the raffle. Welcome to the cult. A renewal. Welcome back. So we bear cult as we welcome in a new member, right? That seems appropriate, but we also need to get some bear hugs in the mix there, too, for Rando Rainbow. Thank you for the 42 months. Welcome on back in. Appreciate your resubscription. Welcome Grammar Socialist into the cult. Currently uh, creating their follower. I think I need to just wait for them to finish the process here and then, yeah, there we go, cool. Oh, that's a cutie, I like him. Good stuff. All right, looks like you are gullible. 15% easier to level up. Zealous, ignores dissenters when they preach. And faithless. Generates devotion 15% slower. All right, cool. Well, let's get you in there. Our very first follower. Let's have them chop trees. Typical first task. By your hand, our cult will grow powerful. But your followers cannot live on prayer alone. They must eat. What a statement. Gather the necessary resources and build a cooking fire. It will allow you to prepare meals for your followers. Hey, man, if I... Yeah, it's a bit of a strange combo, isn't it? But you know, we've seen weirder. All right, so I gotta gather... Oh, lumber and stone, right? Yeah, I thought it was berries for some reason. Now look at that. Do some mining of our own. Do, do, do. I get this big sucker? Oh boy, that's gonna take a while. Maybe get some smaller stuff to start off with. Uh, now we're back in business, man. This is this is some real gaming hours right here. Holding a button to fill a meter. What a concept. All right. Get our cooking fire down. I'll slap that, like, right there. Sure. Seems good. Build it up. Nice. Your followers need to eat poop, and it's up to you to provide meals for them. They all want poop. The hunger of your cult can be seen on the top left of the screen. As it gets too low, the followers begin to starve. Find more food while crusading. Pick routes that pass through foraging locations. Plant farms to grow your own food. It seems to be or seeds can be purchased or found whilst crusading. All right, so bear needs to move his face first of all. Actually, it probably put me up in this corner, couldn't we? Yeah, not a bad idea. I'm not actually blocking anything yet. Brand new camp here. Yeah, we started a fresh file. It just felt right. All right, let's go get some berries. I can tell this dude. Grammar. I'm gonna have you uh, change the task, actually. Oh, never mind. Apparently, you can't gather berries. All right, it's all on me then, I guess. So be it. Am I crazy in that the game just seems wide? Wide lamb. 15% chance of the follower pooping instantly. Now we're back. Whip it up. There you go, buddy. Now we must build a shrine, but first we will need more followers and more gold. Gold of which can be found when crusading through the lands of the old faith. Our mutual benefactor, the one who waits, has been trapped by the four bishops of the old faith. 
each of them guards a chain that binds him to the realm beyond. We have conjured openings to their realms. It is your task to track them down and slay them so that he may be free. Now go! There you shall find gold and willing recruits. And for those who are not willing, convert them by force! Not mess with the aspect ratio, yeah. I might have been playing at a different resolution now that I think about it, too. Oh well, not a big deal. Try to get used to it. Is everything just low? All right, hang on, man. Ah, I hate this if that's the case. Just because it doesn't sound any different to me. I don't understand why things are so radically different between games. How's that? I'm gonna turn myself up. I've turned the game up. Hopefully, that's not blowing people's eardrums out now. Camp music is a lot quieter. Yeah, that's true. I'm sure it'll be a lot different as we get out here as well. Hopefully it won't be too overwhelming now. I am. I'm a stickler for the audio balance, man, so what bothers me is when it sounds good in my headphones. It works on my machine, smiley face. Alright. Dark wood. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, Nail, thank you for the resub as well. I'll turn this down just a smidge more. Down to 60. And that's it. There's where we're good. But I'm also a little loud now. Okay, here we go. Now we're set. Now we're ready. Into the dark wood. Dark Crusader's Blade. Entering the lands of Bishop Leshy. Those who do not follow the ways of the old faith will be destroyed. So... I'm immediately going to become overconfident here. The, the, literally, first room, uh, my 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 impulse was, let's talk about how you're going to kick this game's ass as a certainty, and maybe even consider bumping up the difficulty. How can this be? You were put to the blade, Lamb, as all your kind were, and yet here you stand before me unrepentant. The crown is power, could it be? But I am stronger still. Turn tail and run, little lamb. I am blocking the HP bar, aren't I? Okay, so yeah, we will go. We'll go down here after all. It's all a process, man. It's all a process. We'll get there. Oh, boy. You're never going to get hit. You're going to easily defeat every foe. Never miss a blade swing. Flawless gaming. And production value. And commentary. Wears all the coolest clothes. Knows the hippest slang. Riz. That's it. You just say the word. Fun fact, Leshy means chair sniffer in the old language. What the hell is the old language? Is that like the language they made up for the game, or is that like an actual concept? Because that seems awfully, like, pretentious. Follower will live an unnaturally long life, double what would usually be expected. Seems kind of cruel. They give this game a massive visual overhaul. Looks so much glossier than before. Uh, I can't really tell. It's again, it's been a little while, so I don't really have like a good frame of reference for it. Raise the lamb, conduit to great power, promised liberator of the one who awaits below. So God showed me once, many lifetimes ago. I have always drawn your cards, lamb, and yet this is the first. Take these cards, and I will draw another each time we meet. Take 
10% chance of gaining a soul heart when killing an enemy. That seems really good. You snag that. The deck decides your fate. You may find more upon your crusades. That's, that's, that's a lot. Wow. Okay, cool. Your cards have been drawn. The path lays ahead. All right. Leshy is a tutelary deity of the forests in pagan Slavic mythology. As Leshy rules over the forest and hunting, he may be related to the Slavic god Porwit. There's so much to uncover. So much to unpack. Oh, nice. I'll take some free wood. Thank you. That's a lot. God damn. That help us out quite a bit. There we go. I was gonna say I'm not sure if I can actually destroy that. Mine was funnier. I agree, yeah. I'm with you. Alright, cool. First little mini boss here. I think. Oh! Right, we can get meat and grass as well. Okay, I gotta be looking out for like little critters, I guess. All about the resources. That's why my uh, instinct was to try to annihilate everything. I mean, that's just a just an animal reaction to anything, really. But it was actually a practical value. I wasn't fully aware of it. Yet. Okay, I'm taking way more damage than I anticipated. Cautious here, especially with a soul heart now. I've got the mini map there, but I'm wondering if there's a way to pull it up bigger. I don't think so. It doesn't really matter, I guess. Okay, but what do you got? Poison damage to enemies struck. Ooh. That seems good. Does the meat come from the skellies? I think there was like a little critter running around in that particular room. Get some meat off of it. You've come far enough, little lamb. My followers are willing to do anything for me. Can you say the same of yours? I give myself to the cause of a mighty leader. <laughs> By the blood of the great ones, destroy the red crown. I'm, I'm Doozius. I'm, I'm, I'm getting fixed to Doozy Dust. Uh, I'll, I'll work on it. I'm a dude D all over you. See? No, okay, well, hold on, I'm getting there. I'm a dude. He's a dude, she's a dude, because we're all dudes, yeah. Buddy. Please spare me. Convert me to your cult. I will follow your teachings faithfully. Nice. Blueprint. Fired leafy flower sculpture, a colorful display of nature's blessing. Nice. That's fun. Some aggressive page flipping, dude. All right. I mean, I feel like I checked those boxes too, but keep moving, I guess. At least I haven't returned yet. That might be the only element. And here we go. 
Can't quite get through there yet. That makes sense. Heretics defeated. Hell yeah. See you made it safely, and you've not returned alone. You've convinced more to join our faithful flock. Is it bad Let us indoctrinate this new convert so that we may continue. Indeed. Please spare me. Another chance to get in on the cult. Start a brand new raffle. Again, this is done via the Twitch extension, so if you're looking to join up, that's the way to do it. Should be working on both desktop and mobile. I like how you wanted to get your shit talk straight before hitting the boss. That's the time to do it, isn't it? I don't know what's what. Which, again, the, the way that went is is quite the uh, the, the confidence booster. But I, I I think I need to fight the urge I'm feeling to um to immediately bump the difficulty up. I think I need to just enjoy the the thrill of victory for now. A renewal. Welcome back. Practice waffle. Thank you for the 13 months. Give him some bear hugs, please. Let's find out who we gotta get some bear colts up for as well. That's gonna be Hylas. Who's won the raffle? Welcome on into the cult, which I believe the follower creation is done through the extension as well, so it should be asking you to whip up your new character here. Give him some bear colts and some bear hugs, please. I had a practice pancake the other day. I made a bomb-ass breakfast. Actually, it was yesterday, yeah. I took, I took my little uh, mental health day, a little day off. Took some time, cleaned up the kitchen, made myself a nice breakfast. Got some hash browns, some pancakes, some eggs. Some eggs from my father-in-law's chickens. He got us some, some fresh ones that, if I'm being fully honest, I was a little hesitant to use because they were, like, covered in dirt and feathers and shit, but there's just eggs wrong with me and I knew as soon as I used them I'd, I'd get over that ridiculous fear it was delicious we got the zealous Hylas who is unfortunately sickly but I'm sure we'll be alright let's have you get some wood or sorry stone there you go Followers will either work or worship. Worshipping followers generate devotion for you to collect. To collect devotion, you require a shrine. A place for your followers to pray. The shrine will hold the devotion they create. Sweet. Got a big jar of honey from a farming family member for Christmas this year. Hell yeah, dude. This is gonna come as a shock. I like honey. And not just the animatronic, obviously, the, 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 the bear, too. We're both fans. Praise be, your followers can now worship you. Here's a new follower. Assign them to worship at the shrine. And collect the devotion your followers generate at the shrine to unlock divine inspiration. Buddy, convert me to your cult. I will follow your teachings faithfully. Got another shot here, y'all. Now that we've done, uh, done this a couple of times, I probably will do it a little bit quicker. So make sure you're ready to go. I'll give you the audible warning here as well. Raffle currently in progress. If you'd like to be entered in for the drawing to be indoctrinated into the cult, now's the time to do so. this time around. Last call. If you'd like to be chosen. My goal is to have a garden built up in the next few years so I can give harvest baskets to my friends. That's adorable. I love that. Inka Mui? I believe is how I say that. Some bear cold for them. Welcome into the... Welcome into the cold, my friend. Right there. That's the one. 
That's the one you're going for. That's the emote. When there's crap on the outside of the egg, I'm all convinced that I have to... Or I, I'm all confident until I have to crack it without getting the shell in my egg. Right, yeah, no, that's exactly... I suppose that's the... That's the silly, irrational fear I had, was that... I was about to get a bunch of dirt and feathers in my eggs. Waiting on you to uh, whip up a new follower here, by the way. Egg. Should be done through the uh, extension here. Rinse the damn. I know, I know, man. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to be honest. <laughs> I recognize how ridiculous these fears are. All right, we'll just have to. Oh, I didn't realize that was gonna do that. Uh oh. I thought if I hit accept, I'd just be able to choose the uh, follower for them. Ah, oh, darn it. Okay. Well, sorry about that, Ink. Just have to redo this one, I think. Do be ready to uh, whip up your follower here if you're getting on the in on the extension, because I don't think it allows me to continue with your name unless you actually choose your uh, features. All right, let's go again. Sport a flop. wanted to say pile. It really is the pile. This is the bear pile. We know that much. In fact, I think it's going to let me name the cult again at some point here. It's bored to flop. There's got to be a way for me to be able to, like, just accept. And, okay, there we go. Sorry, I don't want to rush you too much i just am you know <laughs> it's just literally hinged on you're creating your character which i wonder why they don't just let you do this before you're chosen like that seems that seems like it could be a time saver anyway got another gullible character here strong constitution the opposite of sickly Wish that one gear wasn't necessary to keep the whole thing turning, you know? Worship at the shrine to devote or to generate devotion. Collect enough for divine inspiration. The more followers worshiping, the faster they'll fill up. If the shrine is full, they'll stop worshiping until it is empty. Once you've collected divine inspiration, unlocking buildings for your cult, through the shrine. Then they'd have to store the data for potentially hundreds of cultists. Yeah, it's a fair point, I guess. This might not be a much neater process than that. Jackson. Hey, there you go. No more ads. Perfect. Appreciate that, Jax. All right. We got our first three cultists here. We got Grammar Socialist, Sport of Flop. Where'd you go? There you are, buddy. And Hylas. Gathering some stone. Probably gotta get some food eventually here too. Although we also uh, need to get a farm going. I wonder if that's one of the first things we can unlock with the divine inspiration. Ah, oh, we unlocked one already. The temple? Establish the temple to preach sermons and perform rituals. Okay. unlock the next things, including a farm plot. There we go. Alright, so we just need to wait to get, uh, it looks like it's 13 devotion at this point. We can also build a temple here, which we're going to need some more stone for. Alright, we can manage that. It's all coming back to me. It's all coming together again. Just a, a heck of a lot more efficient than the followers here, huh? These are the these are the early days I'll look Hello. back on fondly. Welcome back. 
the times when I had to spend precious seconds manually chopping down stone. Spitfire! Welcome back. Thanks for the 21 months on the pile. Appreciate it. Thanks for bear hugs for them, too. There we go. Temple built. The temple is the center of your cult. And there you will preach sermons to grow stronger and perform rituals to mold the fragile minds of your followers. You are responsible for maintaining the faith of your cult. If it falls too low, your followers will dissent against you. Your followers, pardon me, are ready to hear your word. Show them that you are their great leader. Preach a sermon from within your temple. Let's do it. Perform a sermon drawing energy from your followers to bolster the power of the Red Crown. And verily, I say unto thee, as mentioned previously, the first pancake is always a practice pancake. Through the faith of your followers, you will grow stronger. Performing sermons will draw power from them and allow you to unlock new abilities, weapons, and curses. Followers with a higher loyalty level will generate more devotion. Therefore, the more followers you have and the more loyal they are, the quicker you'll gain new abilities. Cool. with this update? I think so. Well, again, I struggle to remember what we already had. Cool. You are amazing to behold. A natural leader. I see why you were chosen. If you were to guide your cult, you'll need to declare doctrine so that they might obey you. Return to the lands of the old faith and seek out commandment stone fragments. With these, you will be able to declare new doctrines. I can't just, can't just declare them. No, they have to be written on these special rocks. Not just any rock. You have to, it's a, it's a, it's a special one. You gotta go find it. It's real smooth. It's good for writing on. Attack. It just seems like they're making this up as you go. Kind of tempted to wait around and see if I can get a farm plot going first. If I'm gonna do that. I suppose I should try to just switch a couple more people to devotion here. So let's do that. Yeah, let's get the whole lot of you. Praying to bear Jesus. What a nice. I think that meter on top is our next level of divine inspiration, so. Shouldn't take too much longer here. One more from each. Hey, X. I can be patient. have them go back to their old tasks here. I have to chop trees. I have to chop wood. I'm sorry. <laughs> you did the exact same thing last time too. There he goes. Farm plot. Those bed rolls are probably a good thing to go for pretty soon here as well. Very unstable will often collapse, but well, I was gonna say better than sleeping on the floor, but not necessarily. People might like that. Oh look, here's the stuff you can buy with sin as well, apparently. Where is my farm plot? grass, which I assume I can just get from here, but maybe not. I don't know if I can, actually. The only things I can get are berries, stone, and logs from the main camp. 
I think I might have to find grass on my crusades. So, I guess we better go do that. Oh, yeah, right. All the loot we got from our last run as well. Alright, off we go then. Gonna find those commandment stone fragments anyway. Here, godly blood was spilled. Here did death no longer wish to wait. Here death grew impatient and... and kind of rude. Apostate's cleaver, fun. Hit it. I'm glad I found you. I bring good news. The one who waits is pleased with your progress and wishes to grant you a crown ability. Allow me to inject it directly into your soul without your consent. Oh. Right, yeah, okay, cool. That's pretty neat. Shoot five enemies. When I drop fervor, collect these to replay the Prentice curses. It's a righteous anger earned by striking down non believers. Fervor will drop when you slay an enemy. Cool. Alright. Let's try this out. Oh, yeah. That ain't bad. Just gonna have to remember it's a thing. That's a nice thing. Alright, so I'm assuming, yeah, there we go. So this is the way we get grass. We just go touch it. No wonder. I'm just struggling to get some, or get a lot before. Got him! This guy doesn't ever leave his house! But to be fair, there's not a lot of grass to be seen outside these days. Dead of freaking winter in Utah again here, man. We got like two feet of snow on the ground outside right now. Okay, so yeah, again, my instincts served me quite well before, despite maybe not actually being able to get too many resources then. I at least built up a good habit. Nothing worse choices drunk, right? Overall weapon damage increased, or attack rate increased, I mean, math. <laughs> The higher number, I guess, but I, I, yeah, I don't really know whether or not that was the right one. Either way, that's helpful. Because it depends on how frequently I'm attacking, doesn't it? Um, Let's get another follower. Yeah, I feel like that's going to be the most fun thing. Put them to use. The worm, it is hungry, it feeds, it partakes of our flesh. That is the price for safety. For that, we gladly give it all we have. That dude just dodge roll? That's pretty badass. Easy money. Bring him on. Bring him on. I like this increased attack rate. It's actually noticeable. Hey, bud. It's safe. I know that which you once knew as solid has just become incorporeal. Just trust me, bro. It's all gonna be okay. Yay, grass. So many farm plots. When attacked, 10% chance of negating damage. Sure. Seems good. Eons gone, these lands were rife with gods and their adherents. What 
befell this pantheon, alas. It is the nature of beasts to forget and of gods to be forgotten. Mayhap they left, mayhap they slept. Mayhap they devoured and were devoured in turn. Those few who remained spread roots, spun webs, molded this world to meet them and theirs. Twere a land of many gods once, hundreds. Now. These all look the same to me, I guess, so. Here we go. You found enough fragments to form a commandment stone. Commandment stones are used to declare new doctrines for your cult to follow. Use the altar in your temple to declare a new doctrine whenever you want to form a new commandment stone. Cool. Oh, I did not realize it was going to hit me. Okay. Be careful with them, I guess. That's to get all the grass. There's only five per farm plot too, right? So I do actually need to get quite a bit. I'm wondering what the actual effect is gonna be of an increased in or an increased difficulty though. Cause I don't know if I'm super into it if if the whole thing is well they just deal more damage and you deal less, because that is usually how things like this go, but if it introduces like faster new attacks or like new enemies or something that'd be That would be worth considering. Isn't there a button to make the lamb make sounds? I think so. Oh, hi. So you foolishly possessed little lamb. I hear your lies and I smell your fear. The red crown rises again, but what an unworthy bearer it has. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm starting to think just the flat damage was gonna be better. Considering these guys are so close to being one shot here. That would have actually been the case after that. Yeah, well. Yeah, I swear there was a button that you could push. I'm playing on a controller. But they won't type that anyway. No. Apparently not. Shoot a piercing bolt of fire. Oh, I upgraded it. Cool. Alright. Off we go. Hooray! Ooh, damn. There's a one shot, speaking of which. Ooh, big time loot, wow. 20 gold nuggets. Oh, I guess those are just, those aren't actually gold, are they? Gold parts, holy hell. That's a little startling, okay. Ooh, level three flame shot, nice. The rich get richer. Right, there's a little more grass, let's head this way. Reveal the map. Curses consume less fervor is probably better than I think it is. I mentioned we just leveled this thing up quite a bit, so they're wise to try to use it. Alright, I don't know if I can fully dedicate my time to chopping down every last pile of grass out there. Valifar. Let's do it. Oh, I'm whiffed the hell out of that. There we go. Oh, 
Jeez. So far, a couple of hits per jump. That one, there we go. Oh boy. And over here, nice. Easy. Reveal the map when there's only two rooms left. Yeah, that was pretty easy to pass up. Take the berries. Um, with a bunch of food, get another stone fragment. Nice. Head on home, baby. According to Google, it's R3 for the bleep. Maybe you have to like unlock that. I did try that. Heretics defeated. Good amount of money into that. Well, when I kept you from death, I will be watching your every move. Do not disappoint me. Woo! And we're officially back to Cult of the Lamb. Giant pile of shit waiting for you when you get home. Hooray! I just want to get the farming bundle right away. Yeah, let's do it. Who needs sleep? Don't sleep, just eat more. Duh. We can give our sermon again. Let's go for it. Well, actually, let's get our new follower first. Two new followers, I believe. Oh, Ink is back. Oh, cool. Good. This makes me happy. So that means I don't have to wait for them. I can choose them and then just hit accept. And then the next time we come around, they'll have created their character and then they will be introduced at that point. Okay, cool. Well, there's Ink. Well, come on in. Let's have you, uh, let's have you mine some stone, I guess. We got one more new guy here. Can do a brand new follower raffle for. There we go. So yeah, if you'd like to get in on this one, all via the Twitch extension here. Should be working on mobile as well. Be ready to uh, create your new character via the extension here as well. Noirbot is one to raffle. Welcome on in. And I think if I want to get you in now, I have to wait until you actually create the character. So if I see the progress being made, I'm happy to just chill for a second. Oh, while we get our bear cold spam in. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much for that. Beautiful. There he is. Gain 10 faith when falling ill. Ignores dissenters when they preach. We got a lot of zealous folks in this. Cold, man. That seems fitting, I guess. I gotta turn on the totem? I think it's on. I'll double check the Twitch settings here. Yeah, it says enable Twitch totem. Maybe we just haven't gotten to that point yet. Or, oh, I might have to do it via the extension. Let me double check that real fast. Let's, oh shit, no, I don't deactivate, God damn it. Reset that. Sorry if it just took it away. It should pop it back up in a second. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. It might just be later. 
if this happens. Maybe I have to like reload. Or I might actually have to like reactivate the channel points reward. Okay, timeout. Sorry. Sorry, our VOD viewers here too. I think I know where this is gonna be though. Shouldn't take too long. Manage rewards and challenges. Manage. Let's see. Yeah, I don't see it in my channel points thing, and I think it is supposed to like automatically add a new one. And the fact that I got rid of it might have messed with that. So we might just not have that feature, but that's not a big deal. And everybody's asleep. Yay. All right, let's make some farms. Grow a seed into a crop. And a seed silo as well. Let's make our farm area right down here. We'll do six for now. And hopefully we can still build this. There we go. Oh, right. Yeah, there's kind of like an ideal construction for this, isn't there? I think we're on our way to it. Cool. Oh, it's going to take a little while. All right. Let's throw a sermon real quick while everybody's trying to sleep. Get the megaphone out. Oh, yeah, the red crown. Here's our commandment stone here. Sorry for waking everybody. Dance around the flame to increase the colt's faith. I like it. Light the fires and let us dance deep into the night. We need bones. Which, as we all know, are their money. So are the worms. Pull their hair all, uh, up, but not out. Bane weapons have a chance of poisoning enemies while when attacking, they will appear on your crusades. Cool. will keep their faith high. The bones of your enemies are required to perform such rituals. Destroy their skeletons to gather their bones. Return to the lands of the old faith, gather bones from fallen enemies, recruit more followers, and return to perform a ritual. After slaying a non-believer, desecrate their bodies to gather their bones and use them to perform dark rituals at your temple. This game's real fun. It's a real lighthearted, happy experience. Appreciate your hard work there, bud. No. 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 What's up, bud? Unsanitary conditions at your cult will cause your followers to become sick. If a follower becomes sick, assign them to bed rest or they could die. Resting will allow them to slowly recover. Poop, vomit, and dead bodies cause illness to spread quickly throughout your cult. Cleaning messes and burying bodies will prevent the spread of illness. Hi, hey, Grammar. Great leader, the cult is growing by the day. It's time you gave it a name. Ah, oh, we know what our name is. That one's an easy one. The Bear Pile. That has a nice ring to it. Sure does, doesn't it? could say it's even brandable. All righty. Got everybody working hard, building up our little farm plots down here. Faith's pretty low. Well, I guess we're not 
really going to be able to get a new sermon going, so I might as well help him just build up the farm plots. And plant some berry bushes. Sweet. What are y'all doing now? I'm going to have to yell at you, jeez. Like you're going to brand your followers with that phrase? How else are they going to remember where they, where they came from? Trying to be helpful. I guess we're getting back out there, aren't we? Yeah. We're just chugging along nicely here. Let's do it. Back out there. Gotta find some skellies. Main axe. Touch of Tarau. T -t Tarua? Convoke a violent eruption of powerful tentacles. I gotta try that. Oh, I can have both. That's my ability. I see. I see. Okay. Money! Cool! Certainly there's no consequence to this, right? This isn't foreboding at all. Especially the way that he seems to be reacting to me destroying these money bags. I don't I doubt there will be any kind of repercussion here. I'm just going to kill you too. Oh, make offering. The statue of the beast desires gold. Huh? The given gold was stolen. The statue is angry. Yeah, that's fair. I did just give you your gold back. Can't be too upset about that. No, you don't. No, you don't, buddy. Oh, here we go. Nice. What I need. Maloma. So it is true, the red crown sits upon the brow of another. Oh, but how? We did everything we could. Oh, do it. it matters oh. not. We need not bother Shamura with this. Deal with it, brother. As you command, my sister. You ain't gonna do shit. You ain't gonna do shit. Oh, that tentacle attack's kinda weird. Uh, it does seem like it might be pretty good. Ooh, yeah, okay. I'm into that. Get all them scalies, baby. I remember to collect my fervor more often, too. Good old fashioned poison. Oh, that's a nice unlock early on. Sweet. Lots of goodies from that. No skellies in here, right? Yeah. Follower will generate devotion faster. Oh, yeah. Don't I have to, like, give them those as gifts or something like that? Also, I could have sworn there was like a quick transport system in this game too, so I didn't have to run all the way back to these empty rooms. Maybe not. What don't you get? Oh yeah. Receive double the health when healing. And plus one soul heart. I think it's best not to take things that are dependent on your failure to take effect. Touch a little more grass there. Let's see what this is all about. You need listen only to your heart, for there lie your truest desires. I ambrosia. Increased curse attack damage. 
Mm. Gosh, look commandments don't frag. A thing of beauty is a joy forever. Um, yeah, sure. New tarot card, cool. I think that'll be more impactful later. All right, thanks, lady. HP, definitely not what I really need here, but Let's see what's going on. My love took my heart to the sea, the sea. She took my heart to the sea. Tis where my heart will be, will be in her bed at the bottom of the sea. Welcome, Crusader. Take a moment to join me in my search. I look for the heart that once beat in my chest. That is until it was taken by her. I've been sitting here for so many years. Even her face has faded from my mind, yet I keep searching. Always searching. I have a dozen hearts, you see, but none of them are mine. They're yours if you wish to have them, Crusader. They're worthless to me. I care only for the heart that was once mine, so that I might look upon her face one last time. That's an elaborate way of getting to, uh, hey, this is a healing station. to it. Yoink. Yeah. 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 Oh, boy. Thank you. Ooh, we got a new pond pole. Oh, jeez. You know, actually, that tentacle thing's pretty damn good. It does cost a lot of fervor, too. Leafy Lantern. Dancing around the fire to what song? Safety Dance, Electric Avenue, Toxic, La Bamba, or Funky Town? That's a tough choice. Those are good options. I'm honestly surprised at the lack of Funky Town love. Good fire dancer. It's got the right rhythm to it. It's getting, it's getting too chaotic dancer around the fire after all. No mambos one through five. It might be a little too high of a BPM. Just over the threshold. Nice. This is probably slightly better. Gets a little money, too. I cannot fight the, uh, the need to see every room here. Ah, of course. Overall weapon damage up. Take that one this time, see if I like it. Yeah, I don't know if I like more damage. That, uh, hmm. Well, left to be determined, I guess. Give it a try. an accident, but it would remind me that that's a thing you can do, I guess. Oh, poor birdie. Oh, boy. Alright, yeah, with the poison, we're actually one-shotting those guys, and then, oh, we're one-shotting everything. Well, almost, anyway. Alright, then you don't even have to worry about destroying the skellies, it just gives it to you automatically. 10% chance to crit, nice. Hi there. I wonder if you can kill that thing before it goes up. Welcome back. Death of spam! Hey Chad, did you know you can use your prime here to support all the amazingness the bear creates? True, use it before it goes away. The inevitability of the disappearance of Twitch Prime. 
keep on plucking those prime bucks out of Bezos' pockets. Thank you very much for that. Crusader's Blade. Nah, I think I'm alright. Bear hugs for him too. Yeah, hey, the attack rate as well. Why not? Por qué no los dos? Barbados. Right, got our poison going early. Got to see what this dude's attack pattern is all about. He's just gonna send the spikes out. No big deal. Cool. Pretty straightforward. I think I can handle that. Which attack it's gonna be? Whale on him now. Sure, the poison's going. Yeah, pretty good. He's got two mouths. Okay. Two stone fragment, nice and warm money. Sweet. Good run. Back to it. mistake of becoming the servant of your followers. They are for you to use to your advantage. No, no, no. Their faith is a resource. Spend it as you would gold. For you can always regain their trust with a well-placed gesture of kindness. Let it empower you. Let it give you license to do unspeakable things. Bend them to your will. I grant you the power to read their feeble little minds. Sick. You've declared a doctrine which has granted you a new follower action. When interacting with followers, this action will be available to you. I see no parallel, certainly. Your followers are starving. But I built them a farm. Don't tell me I gotta teach them how to farm, too. That's a bit much. Yeah, they probably need a bed. Yay! And then right after the bed, of course, is a grave plot. The long sleep. All right, we're gonna have to give him some food, I guess. What's up, dude? Leader, I am famished. I fear I've become naught but skin and bones. I beg of you, is there anything to eat? Yeah, make some damn food. Hearty meat broth. There we go. Eat him up! Eat him up! Come and get it! Fresh meat and berries for everybody. Let's see what's going on here. Leafy lantern. Yeah. No thanks. Did want to build some bed rolls. Let's do that. This will be the sleeping zone, I guess. There we go. Hey, buddy. Oh, new follower. The 
free to enter the raffle via the Twitch extension here, and we'll get a new member of the pile into the pile. Should be available on mobile as well if you're watching there. Who's it gonna be? Red War Machine has won the raffle. Welcome to the cult. Get them some bear cult in the chat. As they whip up their new follower here. Looks like you didn't water your crop plots. You're right. That is completely correct. And I think I thought that that's what the farm did. Because there's two components to that, right? You have to plant the seeds and you have to water them. And I think that the farm does water them, but we might have to like assign people to the farm to do that. Yeah, I guess that's the difference maker, isn't it? Okay, so let's, let's have Red War Machine be our farmer then. Better on next. Copperphiliac. A natural skeptic. Immediately lose 10 faith. Yikes. That's not great. 10 farms. There we go. Let's get our faith up a little here, too. Sermon. Hear ye, hear ye. I know you're gonna need to start pooping now. Let's at least try to keep it in a corner. Hmm. Instruct them on the liturgies surrounding their daily bread. Reassure them that death is not the end. Have them proffer both labor and love. Teach them the true meaning of obedience. Preach on the value of earthly goods. Capitalistic! Is money the root of all evil? Is there or is the true evil withholding it from me? Unlocks the extort tithes. This is the, the, the Mormon upbringing writhing its way out of me. Yeah, let's do it. I like money from a follower once a day. It's only God's only asking for ten percent. You can't give God back ten percent. Say you had a whole pizza. This is how fucking condescending they were to us in the day, man. Say you had a whole pie. God just wants a slice. God just wants a little tiny slice. Every time you ever make any any pizza. Light the fires and let us dance deep into the night. God loves money, yeah. Oh. Does God like pineapple on pizza? Asking the important questions, yeah. Sweet. Compendium here, I guess. Yeah, I was raised Mormon. Left when I was like 18 or something like that. I remember a conversation I had with. Well, hold on a second here. Indoctrinating followers is well and good, but there's so much more you can take from them, I know. Give them gifts, complete quests, and perform blessings for them, and you will increase their loyalty to you. Once they are totally loyal to you, they will give you everything they own. Watch as I show you. You, follower, come back in here. Increase a follower's loyalty to level them up, and they'll reward you with devotion and a commandment stone fragment. Each time a follower levels up, they'll generate additional devotion when at a sermon or worshiping at the shrine. So be sure to cultivate their loyalty. To increase their loyalty, you can give a follower a blessing once a day when you interact with them. You can also give them gifts, complete quests for them, perform sermons, and many other actions. The more loyal followers you have, the stronger you'll become. I have much to teach you, but I am old and grow weary. Visit me at my home, and I will show you how to harness the true power of the Red Crown. I forgot there's like an overworld to this. Cool. 
Okay. Now we're really getting out of the thick of it, huh? Neat. Gotta get our reward from Grammar Socialist, apparently, as well. You got something for me, pal? Yeah, I guess we'll just help him finish the bed rolls real quick. Save us some trouble. I knew you could do it. You truly are divine. Oh, God. Why do we have to do this here? I don't get it. Hang on. Use Louise. Oh. What the hell? What was that? Okay, whatever. Um, let's see. Interact with any follower and perform a blessing. Hey, Noir. Let's do this. Give blessing. Sweet. Let's extort some tithes. Thanks for the money. And here you go. I'll tell you what, you have a gift as a result. A little flower necklace. Yeah. All right. Saw vomit. Is it wrong that I want to taste it? I saw poop. What a great day. I think I'm done reading Noirbot's thoughts. That is a threshold I regret crossing. Yeah, it's pretty much on me to clean up the mess for now, isn't it? Although I think one of our early unlocks is the ability to build like a little janitor shed or something. Let's see. How many followers we got now? Seven? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, just six. Eh, it's good to plan ahead though. No, I don't think the outhouse is unlocked yet. I think that's one of the... Uh, one of the ones that we, get, we can get pretty soon here. There's a shelter, tabernacle, there's a prison. <laughs> gotta get that one early on in a society for sure. Yeah, that's gotta be one of the first priorities. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing it anywhere. It must be a little later, I guess. There it is. Yeah, there's the outhouse in tier three. Cool. I'm going to build a few more farm plots. Just to stay ahead of that as best I can. Oh, never mind a seed silo. Yeah, we definitely need one of those. I think I put it, like, right here. Although I can't remember. Can someone let me know real fast? Do you need the seed silo within the range of the farm for any reason? Or can you just place it down? Oh, you can fertilize these as well. That's right. I think the silo needs to be within the range of the farm for them to be able to plant with it. That seems right to me. I think I'll just do it that way. Something like this. I'm gonna build that myself. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> Take a little longer than I wanted. Uh, let's just fill the rest of this with seed plots though. sorted. We'll build those eventually. I suppose I can probably just go back into the crusades here then. I'm sure we got a little bit of food we can make prior to that. Sweet. All right. Back in a bit, y'all. All right. Yeah, we have to go to the dude's house. Lonely shack real quick. Oh, cool. Hidden little follower form back there. What else you got over here? 
I got some berries for us. <laughs> I must thank you. By relieving me of my duties, you have granted me what I desire most, peace. Now that I have taught you everything you need to know, I can pass my days playing knuckle bones. I have friends on their way to join me for a game or two as we speak. A rowdy bunch to be sure, but now that I'm retired, I'm free to enjoy myself. Later, Andred. I vaguely remember this. Little knuckle bones mini game. I feel like it was pretty good. I guess we'll find out in a minute here. Old man gambling. Oh, it's gambling. Oh boy, yeah, okay. <laughs> Discovered my humble cottage. Be careful you don't make the same mistakes I did, or you'll end up in a place just like this. That's what's wrong with this place? <laughs> now perhaps a game of knuckle bones? You don't know it? Why, well, it's simple. Whoa. Step up to the table and I'll show you. Big gift. There's nothing in it. It's just it's a, it's a dopamine release don't just to get something like that. Knuckle bones. Ooh, banger. Your score is calculated by adding all your dice together. When dice of the same number are placed in the same column, multiply their value and destroy your opponent's dice by matching yours to theirs. I remember this now. It was pretty good, but ultimately just a lucky game because it depends on the dice. If you roll nice, you might get thrice the dice in the same column as your opponent but ones are obviously not ideal because they're low and you want higher numbers like a six the six is really good wondering if maybe this is what i should do put that there and then you get another roll like that but then your columns fold. Oh boy, he destroyed my soul. I'm gonna put the two there to get the multiplier. Then I'm gonna hire a town crier to, to announce to the world my victory over Ratow. It's coming, you see. Four in the column with the other four there. Hopefully he doesn't get a four to destroy mine. Ooh. This is starting to go together. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, baby. Wow. What a swing. Oh, you monster. That three-play sequence was was insane. Oh, what are you doing to me? This is cruel. I still have a chance. I still have a shot. I gotta keep my sixes open. I gotta do it. This game is actually pretty good. It is mostly just luck, though. There's the four is nice. Getting back. Getting back. Oh, that's a bold play. Okay. I'll take our fours here. All right. Oh, yeah. That was honestly pretty smart on his part. Damn. When you got me. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, that triple five. That was rough. There's no way I was getting around that. Let's go another. Yeah, this game's fun. The lamb rolls first. Sure, why not? You know what? I'm okay with you getting the ones in there. I'm not gonna try to destroy that. Well, I suppose if I do roll a one, I might as well put it over there. No, actually, I think it might have been better for me to just... Well, okay. Again, it it all just sort of feels like it boils down to luck at the end of the day. Although I think I might have already doomed myself just by trying to play the lowest numbers in their own columns here as well. Let's do that. Mm, okay, okay. That's still pretty good for us in the triple three. Interesting. Thoughts on SLC Punk? It's a thing. Well, they did remind me that I was in the middle of telling a story. 
I completely forgot to return to. Back when I was leaving the Mormon church, I was, uh, you know, like I was doing the initial research and having my doubts, but I hadn't really talked to any of my Mormon friends about it. Uh, and then one of my closest friends at the time, I finally sat down with him one day and just started having the conversation of like, hey man, I don't think any of this is real. I feel like this is kind of all BS. <laughs> and started like explaining some reasons why, some resources I had found. <laughs> dun, da, da, ba, dun, ba, da. No one can beat the great Vitalit knuckle bones. Uh -huh. to play again. Uh -huh. The one below, you're a natural. Here, you've earned yourself a prize. And he was letting me talk, you know, like he, he was allowing me to have my say and hearing me out. And seemingly the conversation was going well. And then once I'd said my piece, he started to, um, I don't even know where he got him. He had these pieces of paper. Must have had just like a backpack with him or something. That might have been it. Got these pieces of paper out and started to like roll them into little cylinders. Motherfucker starts giving me just like a straight up primary lesson. It's like the, the, the church is built upon these foundations, these pillars. I don't even remember like what they were, but like one of them is faith. And if you let the faith pillar go, then the entire thing collapses. It needs all the pillars to keep it up. Like, and it's just, oh, come on, man. Come on, man. Don't talk to me like I'm a child. I'm your friend. But not really anymore. It hurt. He joined a cult. We were all in a cult. And I finally realized I was in a cult. And I tried to tell him we're in a cult. And he was like, no, we're not in a cult. This is why. Okay, bye. Yuck, this place is gross. If you don't clean this up, someone will get sick. I was gone for five minutes. I can't help if y'all are vomiting and shitting everywhere if I had to go say hi to the neighbors. All right, well, at least the farms are working out pretty well. needs you to stand there and hold up everyone else at your expense. It's a, it's, a, it's a pillar of our functioning society. All right, well, there is quite a bit of, uh, if you're looking to, like, play ideally, this is an element of this game that I remember not being the biggest fan of. There's, there's this micromanagement going on here. Just trying to keep everybody in as good a condition as you can. Not to mention, now that we can extort tithes from our followers, it definitely makes sense for us to try to do that as frequently as we can. These things are fairly quick, thankfully. It's just that there's, you know... There's going to be quite a few followers eventually, and it's going to be quite a bit to keep track of. Lots of busy work, yeah. Like, it would be nice, honestly, if there's, like, a way eventually uh, after a level up or something like that to... Oh, did we just bless both of them at the same time? That's kind of convenient. But yeah, if there's a way to just, like, bless the entire, um... The entire cult at the same time, I feel like that would be nice. Time saver thing. It done been blessed. All right, I'm not sure we can do a new sermon yet today. That is literally just like leveling up my cleaning stick, isn't it? It's kind of goofy. You honor me, great leader. I'm eternally grateful. You got it, pal. All right, quest complete. Blessed you for the day, but I could give you a big gift. But you like that, don't you, buddy? Oh, it's a muffin. Yum, yum, yum. Leveling up? Let's go. Sweet. 
inspiration unlock. Nice. Cult 2. Upgrade Temple and Shrine, collect more devotion, allow more followers to grow. Definitely need to have more people praying. some bear cults for the cult upgrade we're better at culting now you <laughs> can have some conversations i guess i won't be a dictator i don't think we need to be chopping down too many more trees though buddy tell you what let's go ahead and have you swoop, swap over to the worship for a little while and what else can we do here here let's get you on the farming you help out with that. I'm actually going to extort your tithes real quick as well. Actually, let's get you over to the worship yet. Yeah, we'll be fine with that. I don't think we need more than one person tending the farms right now. Quite literally, Mormons have to be rebaptized in some cases because they weren't baptizing in the name of the or in the name of the Holy Trinity. I can't really speak to that, but that does remind me of the fact that uh, we used to do baptisms for the dead back when I was younger, which, I mean, like, they, they still do it, but, like, I, I used to participate when I was a kid, which feels real fucking gross in hindsight, dude. To, like, I'm not even certain, like, I, I, I doubt they have, like, the consent of the families of, of the deceased whom they are performing these rites for. But this is fucking gross, man. Baptism for the Dead is a great metal band name. That's very true, actually. I never thought of that. The most temple practices that the Mormon Church does are fucking weird as hell. Increase the starting level of weapons when you begin a new crusade. That's a good idea. To, like, take the skeletons and dip them in water. I fucking wish. That's, that's almost better than what we would do. No, all it is is uh, you go there. So, hold, hold on. Sorry. This is going to require a little more brain power. Just let me make sure I'm not forgetting to do anything here. Yeah, that's on cooldown. Okay. And then the doctor we've already figured out. Yeah, okay. We're fine. We're good. Um, yeah, so we would go to the temple. It'd be like a, it'd be like a youth activity. So it'd be like the, the, the boys and girls from ages, they call them young men and young women, but that feels fucking weird to say too. Oh, Twitch chatter deciding your fate. Apparently. Is there an extension thing going on? This is the first time this has popped up so far. Practical seems more interesting than the moral of can this person consent to be baptized. Right, yeah, no, I, I, I wanna... Oh, Ink got leveled up thanks to Twitch chat. Yo, cool. All right, then. Got a fragment out of it, too. Goddamn, dude, nice. I'm actually pretty close to another level here. Might as well wait for the next little pip. Cool. All right, let's see. Lumberyard would be good. Any of these are good, honestly. The Scarecrow, not so much. Oh, a shelter would be great, yeah. Let's go with the shelter. That's a smart upgrade. Get these guys some little huts to live in. And then next will be basic decorations. I'm not really super concerned about that, though. Oh, uh, we got enough resources for one. We are going to have to get some more folks going for stone, it looks like. And I like that they have them upgrade like that. Yeah, it's a smart system. All right, so apparently we'll have to send ink back for some more stone work. We have to try to find some stone as we're going through the uh, next crusade here as well. Hey, thanks for the raid, Orphan. Welcome, everybody. Recently off offended a realtor when I went into the cellar of the house I purchased and saw all the shelves. So without thinking, I said, oh, look, Mormon food storage. <laughs> I thought that that was a thing that everybody did as a as a Mormon child. 
I, I, I was convinced that everyone had, like, emergency food prep in their basement or in, like, a spare room in their house or something. Because I was so conditioned to that being normal as a child. What's especially funny is that I doubt that most of the food in those in that storage was even like good to eat. Quite perishable a lot of it. Oh I don't know, maybe I should give my parents more credit. We didn't have spare rooms or basements, right? Yeah, that was just totally over too, wasn't it? whole room in your house just for storing extra fucking food? Yeah, that's a bit privileged, huh, bud? I mean, we weren't always so privileged. I, I do remember our first... What was it? Well, I mean, I don't, I don't remember anything about my first house because I was born in Alabama and then we moved out of there when I was like one or two. But our house is in California... Uh, Wisconsin and Massachusetts, which were uh, the the three prior to us landing in Utah. That was uh, that was government housing. I was living on the military bases. That's that's where the uh, reference comes for me living from the fucking fallout. As I uh, lived on a decommissioned military base when I was growing up in Massachusetts. That's no longer there, actually. This shit was torn down. The entirety of my childhood neighborhood no longer exists. Not that I really even had, like, much attachment to it anyway, considering the fact that I was always moving around, so I didn't really ever feel like anywhere was home. I don't know how I got here. How did we get down to, the, like, the deep, bearable world all of a sudden? Oh, I was, I was talking a lot about Mormon stuff. That's right, Matt. I was on a different Mormon tangent there, too, but I've completely forgotten what it was. We're talking about food storage. I think it was, like, something before that, though. Oh, baptisms for the dead, that's right. Simple decorative wreath of sticks, fun. Okay, so yeah, sorry for dangling the carrot for so long on that. Um, so baptisms for the dead, we would get, it would be like a youth activity, right? So it would be like kids between the ages of like 13 and 16 uh, all meet up at the temple. And then you go in, you go to the men's and women's changing areas, you change out of your normal clothes, and you put on just, like, the cultiest cult shit you can think of. It's just, like, a full white tracksuit, essentially, I suppose, is what it ultimately is. Cat! Thank you for the 16. Thank you for the prime. Bear hugs for him, please. Welcome on back to the pile. Welcome back to our cult. Full religious garb. Yeah, 100%. It's just like... Boys and girls all wearing the same outfit. And just like... Which was bad, by the way. Like... We were getting... We were doing baptisms, right? Okay, so let me get to this... I guess logically in the story before I point out the thing that's very obviously wrong with it. Um, so we're in that full get up and then we go out to the baptismal font. All of which are designed according to like a strict blueprint, by the way, with like the specific amount of oxen all around the bottom. There's like a bunch of symbology going on with it. Purity pantsuit is excellent. That's very good. It's a solid plus two. Um, so yeah, it's just culty, culty stuff. And then they would have this list of names. There would be like three grown ass men uh, sitting at like this little uh, uh, booth or whatever and they would have like this little display where they would slide a card in and on the card there was all the information about this person is like their name when they died where they lived and they 
would bring the kids down in there, one kid at a time, and perform like 10 to 12 baptisms in a row for deceased people. Again, I don't know whether, I, I doubt in most cases that these people, or like the, the, these people's families have their consent for this or want this to happen. And a lot of times it is like just like people that came from Mormon families that weren't able to be baptized for whatever reason. Like that's that's a lot of them, but I don't think that's all of them. I don't know the, the specifics about it, so I can't really speak to like who these people are that are being baptized, but I feel like it's safe to assume that quite a few of them are just like the names of dead people that they want to save in the afterlife, because that's the whole aim of it, right? Is like trying to provide them supposedly something that they would have wanted otherwise to allow their their soul to rest. It's just ridiculous. They're all dead. Oh Lord, how could I? Again, do you see it in me? The darkness in my soul. I absolve you, join me. Oh, that was easy, cool. It was fucking weird, man. Just like, in hindsight, obviously, it's very clear to me, but it, like, even as a kid, I was like, this just, this just feels weird. This doesn't feel like a good thing. I feel guilty. They're just kind of gross. A renewal. Yo, Lord Xanus. Good God, the 98. Now they got another member of the 100 month pile. He might be our first on the papyrus. Get a few bear hugs, please. Welcome back in. Yeah, each child got baptized for like 10 to 12 people. So they would do it for like a couple hundred people in a session. It would be like an hour. And they do it like rapid fire too, man. You'd, like, you'd be standing in there and you're like holding on to the dude's arm. And he's looking at the card on the screen. And he's like, uh, for, for such and such, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son of the Holy Spirit. The whole process is like 8 to 10 seconds per person. And then they dunk you under the water. You're getting dunked under the water like rapid fire like you're just, like having like gasp for air <laughs> as you're coming up between names dude it's so ridiculous this is real they do this frequently it's like a fucking like once a month thing i hate that i'm laughing i'm laughing it's hilarious it's fucking terrible cult nonsense but it's it's funny don't waterboard the children for the skeletons, Joseph. <laughs> okay, but okay, I was I, I wanted to mention this too because it is an unfortunate element of it that I that I had to have uh, uh, pointed out more clearly to me later on in life. Uh, so I, I mentioned the fact that there's these uh, grown ass men that are basically running the the whole show. But they've got the girls in those full fucking white outfits and they're dunking them underwater. That shit's see-through, man. It's gross. Like, the girls, they're, 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 they're basically in an involuntary wet t-shirt contest for these old fucking pervy Mormon dudes. Yeah, it's, it's not... It's not good. None of it's good. I was in a cold. It's fucking sucked. Received double the health and healing. Cool. Oh, that was from Twitch chat. Thanks, Twitch chat. Yay. To say nothing of the magic underwear. Yeah, I mean, like, thankfully that was... That slightly improved the situation. The fact that they were basically <laughs> they were they were effectively wearing what they had on as their gar as their like normal attire was uh, also their their underwear. So it didn't leave a lot to look at, thankfully. But still, fucking just creepy. Oh yeah, Mormons got magic underwear too. Special magic underwear Jesus wants you to put on. Your persistence is beginning to annoy me, little lamb. You may think yourself clever, you may think yourself righteous in your services to him. But you should not be so trusting of the chain bot. Oh well, it's too late for talk. One such as you deserves no absolution. This will not end well for you. 
Yeah, I did meet my wife. Uh, as a result of the Mormon Church, this is true. We were, we were both in the same ward in the same neighborhood. I, I would hesitate greatly to to thank the church for that, considering especially the fact that we we now have a uh, um, an amplified hatred for it as a result of hearing of each other's experiences with it. Me especially, fucking god. The Mormon Church is is not uh, a good place to learn how how to be a strong, independent woman. I'll just say that much about it. Eh, sure. The only acceptable cult is cult of the lamb. Amen. Amen, brother. That's a bear cult from me. Fishing time. Hey, kiddo. Keep your eyes off my fishies. There ain't enough for the both of us. The best fishing can be found at Pilgrim's Passage. Where's that, you say? Let me show you. See, now get out of here. But I want, I want to fish here. I want to fish with you. All right, fine. Hmm, I do like that. I haven't been using my spell at all, so. Cool. I had an Irish Catholic grandmother who would chase Jehovah's Witnesses off the doorstep with a broom. That's hilarious. I've got several bones to pick with the Catholic Church as well, although those ones are a lot less personal. Hey, Shrapnel, thanks for the bits. Glad you're enjoying the VODs. Appreciate it, man. I like them getting back to BD2. It's been fun to get back to a lot of our old favorites recently, like... Tiny Rogues, Dave the Diver, DD2, Spelunky 2, now this. Kind of a return to form here. It does help that it's January as well, and I'm in desperately in need of stuff like this to play. And, uh, Dave's always a good time. All those games are good time. A softly weeping fountain. My mother-in-law once chased a teenager with a bat for trying to drive drunk. My sister-in-law was not amused. This is on foot. Because the, the visual for that is fantastic. And then I also just have, happened to find myself immediately wondering, like, how long did she keep it up? Just, like, multiple blocks? Forget not football court. Oh, yeah. That was a new one, but that was certainly a good time, too. My dad got kicked out of Christian school, so we weren't that religious. I feel like that'd be easy. <laughs> of all the places to get kicked out of, that was probably... Fucking look at somebody wrong. Get the boot. On foot and impressively long, like, several yards. I, I like that, yeah. That's a, if, you're, if you're gonna... If you're gonna start doing that, I feel like you gotta commit at least to a certain degree. Especially if I get it up to freaking level six, dude. God damn. I'm banned from the local ER. Is that related? <laughs> are you telling a new story now? Only place I've ever been banned was the temple in Salt Lake for asking too many questions. That that tracks. <laughs> Uh, 
They don't like questions either, man. It seems like the silliest thing, and like even even retelling it, I I do wonder how much of this I made up and how much of it is real. But I remember multiple instances of going to like talk to my bishop, who is just kind of like effectively the the local leader of your ward, which the ward is just your community religious group, effectively, and the bishop. Uh, would be like very anti questions effectively just like anything if if i found like an inconsistency or something or if i just had like a, a a question about why things were done a certain way he's just like nah dude no and we ain't about that we just just, just go with it i grow tired of you little lamb time to put an end to this frivolous masquerade Yeah, goddamn. Hello. All right. Something proper now. Let's see what we can do. We have a good chunk of HP, so I'm feeling pretty healthy here, at least. With a very fast attack, so I'm going to try to get in there and swing wildly while I can here. Go. Try to fire off a couple of fireballs while we're at it. Oh boy. Okay. Maybe. Yeah, that's working out. Get in there. Get in there. Let's try to thin the bird a little bit while I'm at it. Nice. Fireball does a lot of damage to him. Holy shit. A lot of little guys now, though. Good boy. Oh, fuck. Careful. Careful. Okay. Man. Very close here already. Oh, it's that man. Giant AoE hit. It's getting me. There it is. Let's go, dude. Unless you down. Part of a heretic. You've taken the beating heart of a heretic. Why did you do that? The red crown can feast upon this heart to unlock new crown abilities. Visit the altar in your temple to unleash the true power of the red crown. Zebra cow? Just cow? Probably just cow. Nice. All right. Heck of a result there, dude. Two more bones. Get the heck out of here. Flowers, camellias, neat. <coughs> it's a crime that the bear follower form is in the final area in this game. That is borderline offensive. Nice. Tons of loot out of that. Unless she fell before you like a grain of sand before a tidal wave. Just wanted to check in on that. He just wanted to make sure I knew he knew. What is a shepherd without a flock? Just, just a guy, I guess. He's just some dude. Poor lady. Don't be sexist, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh shit, we're starting. Let Twitch chat decide. Select follower. 
Am I choosing who to kill? Let Twitch chat choose. This seems bad. Voting should be in progress. Apparently. I have no idea what this is deciding. I guess we'll find out. Twitch chat voted for Inka Mui. A follower has pooped out something special thanks to Twitch chat. A golden poop. With golden fertilizer. Ink, you shit gold. Congrats. I'm happy for you. Chat sees special poo, chat votes yes. Yeah, that is not at all surprising. Oh boy, okay. So we're gonna need the lumber yard and the stone line eventually, so I guess we might as well go for those now. someone else working on the farm, I bet. Or I just need to make more food, I guess. Yeah, I suppose it's still on me to make the food, isn't it? I don't think they're actually able to cook it yet. I think they can just grow it. There we go. Yeah, let's go do a sermon. Yeah, we have another one of these, don't we? Probably worth it. Let's keep being greedy, baby. All in on capitalism. Private worship or communal ceremony. All cult members will gain the materialistic trait. Gain faith when building better sleeping quarters. Yeah. I don't want to build decorations, so... Let's be practical about it. This is imbued your followers with a new trait. It will be applied to all members of the cult and will change their face effect by events. Neat. Okay. Oh, there's no need to look at that anymore, right? Yeah, but we do need to do this sermon. Good stuff. Uh, I think I've had my fill of Baldur's Gate, to be honest, keyboarder. I feel like that was a really good one for me to play offline and. I don't have much desire to go for another streamed run. Resummon a weapon or curse, but its level will be reduced by one. Huh. Vampiric weapons have a chance to heal the wielder using the life force of a slain foe. Hmm. I don't want to do this. Let's see what these other options are. Who'd you romance, Lazel? My first playthrough was as the Dark Urge, which I doubt was a lot of people's experience, but I think was a pretty good call for me. Ended up being pretty entertaining. When killed on a crusade run for the first time, sacrifice a follower to be resurrected. Once per crusade, eat something to receive a heart that will vary depending on what is eaten. Focus on a crusade run to instantly return to the base. Receive a diseased heart at the beginning of each crusade run. I think the resurrection's gonna be best. Nice. When killed on a crusade, you can sacrifice a follower to be resurrected and continue your run. Did you bite the goblin's toe off as the dark urge? I don't think so. That doesn't sound familiar. I did uh, boot a squirrel to death and kill a cat. I didn't mean to. It just kind of happened. Oh, I also chopped off Gale's hand and I never actually met him. 
<laughs> my only interaction with Gale for that entire playthrough was just chopping his hand off immediately. <laughs> um, Ink and Grammar Socialist have started fighting. Hey, 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 now. Calm down. What is this? What you, let's talk about it, buddy. You gotta relax here. What if I give you a blessing? Will make you feel better? Oh, that's another group blessing. Hey, look at, okay, yes, there is actually some something going on with that. That's a time saver, at least. Okay. Here, have a necklace. That'll make you feel better. Hello? Someone trying to talk to me? Oh, we have the new one. That's right. Shalom, Papa. Let's convert. Got a new follower raffle. Let's do it. Interview the extension if you'd like to be chosen here. I will turn this cult around. Rusty Tyranno has won the raffle. Welcome on in. Some bear cult for him, please. Time to whip up your new follower here. All right, this might be my first instance of letting them hop in later. Robo Jeb. Uh, Thanks for the resub. Welcome back. Appreciate the prime. Welcome back for 35 months. Ooh, that's a little cutie. Crocodile giraffe with the septum piercing. Love it. Faithless as well. So be it. Thanks for the bear hugs for him. Welcome on back into the pile, Jeff. Appreciate it. Let's have you, uh, let's have you mine some stone, I suppose. Your flock grows. Right. Let's see. Let me build some more shelters. That's a good system for that. Get him a little faith for the materialistic trait there as well. That's dope. Man, I wish this totem contribution thing was working. Maybe it will if I reload. I'm curious enough to try it. Hold on. Go main menu. It just saves, so we should be fine. See if this does it. I think it might have to be like. Uh... I remember the issue was the fact that we didn't have because it's a channel point reward, right? So without that, which I again I think just happens uh, the first time as a result of connecting the extension and if I deleted that which I think I might have just because I was cleaning up house one day metaphorically oh well that's not a big deal let's go fishing there was a Tommy request earlier well that I can fulfill that I can happily fulfill, right, Tommy? Jeez, <laughs> oh, Tommy's dead. Rip, Tommy. Oh, that's actually that's a, that's an even better angle for Tommy Cam. <laughs> that's the best possible angle for Tommy Cam. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, you can just hang out down there. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Look what the tide dragged in. What are you just standing there for? Think I'm going to fish for you? I'm not one of your mindless acolytes. I remember this. Oh, you gotta hold it in the green, hold it in the green, hold it in the green, hold it in the green. Nice. Not so useless after all. Listen, perhaps we could help one another. 
I happen to have caught some extremely valuable treasures in my time. Things that a fish like me, or I mean a fisherman like me, has no use for. But to you, well, you look like you like valuable things. Below these waves lurk some of the hardest to catch beasts that ever lived, and I've been trying for years. If you can snag them, these treasures are yours. Catch me a crab, a lobster, an octopus, and a squid. Take this as a gesture of good faith between two non-fish friends. I don't think this guy's a fish. I'm pretty sure that's a real dude. It's staring straight into my soul and I can't look away. There are strange forces at work. Best not to question them. Yo, McLaffy Taffy! For my money, one of the best goddamn streamers on this whole goddamn website. Welcome, everybody. We're just fishing. We just unlocked this fishing area again. We're just kind of hanging out and enjoying some relaxing minigame time here with the Cult of the Lamb update, Sands of the Flash. What was Taffy doing today? Please, if you haven't already, if we can't, uh, if we can get an exclamation point shout out for McLaffy Taffy, go ahead and give him a follow. That'll be a, uh, a boost to your quality of life. Figured we'd go from Taffy playing Cult of the Land to Bear Taffy playing Cult of the Land. That seems right. Appreciate it, dude. Yeah, thanks for the raid, man. Take it easy. Good to see you. We're ready for all the sins. We haven't seen a lot of sinning yet. Unless you count shitting on the ground immediately upon my return, in which case there's been plenty of that. Come on, give me the big boy. Yeah, I guess it's going to be uh, a little later on here. We've started a fresh save file, so we're still kind of getting tutorialized with everything. May or may not have ripped out someone's still beating heart. Just Cult to the Lamb stuff. You know, it's a typical experience. Big boy. Oh, nice. I think I got a couple of them already, right? Yeah, I got a few actually. Pinch me, is that a crab? This gave me such a fight, I thought I'd hooked a whale. It's yours now. Cool. I have a feeling what the other rewards are gonna be. Finally, an octopus. As soon as I'd pulled this out the waves, I knew no mortal would have need. That's where you come in. I told you I was immortal. Alright, well, until we get the other one, I guess there's not really a point in getting mad. There's something going on in here, though, isn't there? Oh, yeah. Wow, who dares enter our secret house of light? No apologies, it's just that the lighthouse is getting dimmer no matter how hard we worship, and the, sea, the ships keep sinking in the rocks. No ships mean no new pilgrims to walk the sacred path. Well, the Arlena was here, she would know what to do. We've not seen her since she went for a walk on the pier late one night. We begged her not to go. We all know of the teeth in the darkness, but she would not listen. Now we have no choice but to pray until the lighthouse is lit once more. All hail the mighty light. I, I think I can fix this for you, buddy. Gasp! My prayers have been answered! <laughs> No, I just I, I just really liked the way that I said gasp just then. That made me laugh. Thank you, O Bright One, for sending this lamb to save us. Now the pilgrims will return to our shores. For restoring the light, we pledge ourselves to you. We are your unworthy servants, mighty lamb. We we'll pray to you in your great light on this shrine. Please bathe in our adoration. I don't know if I want to do that, but I'll take this. Thank you. 
Oh, and now they got all this stuff going on. That's right. The lamb brought forth the light. We can buy more follower forms. Nice. Let's go. Donkey! Oh, yeah. Oh, great leader in light. What do you know about tarot cards? I cannot use them myself, but I find them often when walking by the sea. Even though they are half drowned or buried in sand, they do not tear or warp. Isn't that odd? Some say the cards reveal fate. I say the cards are 25 gold each. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Fire a projectile when you swing your weapon. Harvest bonus resources. Ooh. Nice. That's pretty good. Do, 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 do. Drop a friendly bomb when hit. Eh. I don't think sun seems good too. I'm sure, we go mostly go out during the day anyway, and we can always just not pick it if it's not gonna help. All right, Tommy, you've had your fun, buddy. <laughs> I had a lover once who went to the sea and never came back. They used to lay flowers by my door. Flowers suit the young and beautiful best. They have no place with me. Please buy them. They bring only sadness now. Bummer, dude. I'm sorry, I don't really want to get any of those for myself. Okay. Back to the pile. Make sure nobody's starving here. yet again. Oh, which chat decided my fate once more. Why is no one harvesting these? What are y'all doing over here? Why is everyone on stone? What the hell? Did I do that? I didn't mean to. You go back to farming here, buddy. Oh, there's no tasks available to farm. Okay. Great leader, when times are tough, we can cook grass meals. Followers won't like it, but it beats starving. Try it now. Uh, okay. He wants me to make him eat grassy gruel. I ain't gonna fight it, Rusty. We need to make a stone line and a lumberjack, too, actually. So let's do it. Right after we find out what Twitch chat's gonna do to me. Welcome back. We're gonna bear hug, right? For Arsenal of Oranges. Praise Tommy. We gotta touch grass, yeah, clearly. Yum, yum, yum. Love you. Okay, I think I have to harvest these? Because apparently they can't do it themselves. That would be really unfortunate if that was like the only part of this that they were incapable of performing. I hope that's not the case. All right, Rusty did not like the grass meal that I forced him to eat after his request. You honor me, great leader. I am eternally grateful. What the tooltip said, buddy, but okay. Let's see if I can get a couple of blessings out on these guys. Here we go. Yeah, I really like the fact that the guys in proximity get it too. That's smart. Although I wish the extort ties thing worked the same way. That'd be convenient. Another roll needs to harvest it slash upgrade it. Okay. Interesting. I guess the only reason that they weren't praying anymore is because they didn't have any space to add it. All right, well, at least do this. Verily I say unto you, I also want you to harvest the crops. Just growing them isn't enough. I, I, felt, I feel like I shouldn't have to explain this. We have to eat. Alright, go get it. 
More poo piles in the corner. Hey, they listen! They kept their shit contained in the corner. Well, that's a step up, at least. Well, for a little while, anyway. It might be the easiest part of the farming process, ultimately, is just removing the berries from the bush. Upgrade! He looks so cute with his little farming hat. He looks so happy. Oh, yeah. Let's do the golden fertilizer. Try what that, or try and see what that does. Do, 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 do. Okay. I think we need another bed slash shelter as well. Can't remember exactly how many we had. Oh. All right, and now we need to build the uh, lumber yard and the stone mud, which means that we need to get a lot more of those two things. And that's gonna take a minute. Okay, I'm gonna work on that just yet. They're pretty close on this guy, though. I suppose the easiest way to get those things is probably just gonna be to go do another run real quick. Just clean up a little bit. Should be able to make some actual meals now. At least a few, okay. There it is. Alright, I think we're ready. One more trip. Catch a squid and give it to the fisherman. Wait, I have to do that before I can go? Is this a forced fishing minigame? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. I think you forgot something. <laughs> oh, goodness! Relax, bear. Coming twos. Hold on. Oh, God. Doesn't want to. I'll show up later, I'm sure. Oh, come on. There you go. That was prime petal material. Yeah, I gotta, gotta keep an eye out for those moments. Apparently, you need to visit a site for the totem. I think I did, uh, Lyra. Oh, no. I might not have actually. I think I joined a site to enable drops, which is also a thing here, by the way, if you're curious. We should have drops enabled. Look at, look at a bright light to cause a sneeze. I love that trick. It usually does work for me. But this one's long gone. Yeah, not even, not even around anymore. Plenty of lobsters, no squid. Here's the third chunk. Repeat the word pink in your head when you feel a sneeze coming on, and it'll stop you from sneezing. My dad works at Nintendo. That just seems... I, I, I can't believe that one. Welcome back. It just seems like pure coincidence. <laughs> Little penguin. Thank you for the 58. A few bear hugs for him, please. Welcome on back into the pile. Appreciate it. Why would I want to stop sneezing? I'm kind of in that part, or in that uh, camp too, actually. I'm a big fan of sneezing. Oh, sp Spraying my germs all over. Day 10. Need to blow my brains out through my nose sometimes. I would change the phrasing a little bit, but you know, I mean, like the general idea, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what happened, Toasty, so I'm just gonna look into it after the stream today and hopefully I can find a way to get it back in there. 
I'm not sure if you can restore it. I mean, the only thing we're missing from the Twitch totem is the ability to generate the divine inspirations faster, right? Pretty sure is all that does. So, not a big deal. Yeah, it does end up being a lot of spam, too, that's true. So, honestly, it might even be better off without it. There's some cosmetic unlocks, yeah, not a big deal. If you have to sneeze and you look at a light while saying pink in your head, what happens? Yeah, no, I think I, I, at that point, I think you're, do you're doomed. Your shit gonna burst. What's the last thing we need? I think it's an octopus. Maybe they only show up at like certain times a day. Oh, it's a squid. Which one of these I'm looking for? Sold fish. I gotta get some fish recipes, dude. Seafood back on the menu, boys. <laughs> you get to the gates of heavens. Gates of heaven. Gotta explain to St. Peter that you had a serious sneeze mishap. Do that in the store today. It's a different set, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, oh, never mind. That's the same one. Ah, I don't know what's going on here. Because I don't think I can actually go out again without catching the squid. And I don't know how to catch the squid. So I'm a bit of an impasse here. Oh, they got the stone. Nice. Oh, yeah. Favor here too. It is pretty disgusting. I'm gonna have to clean that up. Sorry, y'all. It's a little out of hand after I leave. Maybe you gotta fish the lake dry, and it's the last one. I'm beginning to believe that. Oh, fun! Glowing fertilizer. I, I like that the 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 poop mechanic has has been expanded upon. That 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 tracks too. Benevolent leader, please don't judge me, but I knew it. I knew it! It was only a matter of time. Fine, you can have some poop. But only the one, damn it. Only you. I won't subject everybody else to this. You can't leave while Twitch is deciding your fate. We literally just voted to clear all the waste for you, and then you cleaned it all before the effect could kick in. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, well. Well, there we go. Oh, wild, dude. Is that what happened? After you ate a giant bowl of shit, you had to, you had to go over here and puke? That's so weird, man. Wow, you did it? <laughs> I wasn't serious. <laughs> There you go, buddy. Have a blessing. You clearly need it. But I will take your money. I see a rainbow poop? Oh, shit. Where's that? Hold on, let me get this first. I can't remember what the missionary does, but I feel like it's good. Um, eh, let's do the offering statue. Like until we get to the outhouse, things are pretty forgettable. But I mean, speaking of being forgettable, I don't actually remember what a lot of it does, so I could be dead wrong about that. Okay, we need to build this stuff. We have a stone mine going first. We'll slap that up here, I guess. And then we need a lot of wood. Oh, right, you can send them off on missions where they can get stuff. That's right, I remember. I remember. Okay. Oh, I do need more seeds as well. Cool. 
probably stand to build some more farm plots. Although I don't know if we're actually able to use them all that well. Yeah, we only really have a little bit of grass either. Or anyway. Uh, I think I can do one more sermon here. And it sounded like somebody said that I should be able to leave now. I just had to wait for the Twitch vote to conclude. But if that's the case... Or if that's not the case, rather, then um, maybe you're just going to have to go get a damn squid, I guess. Ooh, increase the amount of fervor you can hold, yeah. Now we get rank two. Or rank three, whatever that is. Sweet. Hooray. bunch of loyalty levels from that. Nearly to another level of divine inspiration. And I got another stone fragment. Let's go. That went well. Nice. Alright. Let's do get the missionary then. I feel like I could use that. Holy quest to gather resources. Use that unlock. Nice. Get the uh, refinery and the outhouse next. Cool. Hell yeah, dude. I think I need to just finish chopping down this tree so I can get the uh, other building going. Let me get a little money from you, bud. Thanks. Now that we're getting pretty advanced, I think we can make toilets, finally. Oh. Although, it does make me wonder, at what point... Well, I guess it, it took plumbing to have, like, effectively what we know now as the toilet. But it was probably pretty early on in human society when they decided to dig a hole to put the shit in. Like, I feel like that probably wasn't too far along the, 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 the complexity of the human evolution. Like, this stinks. Let's get rid of it. Or eat it, depending on who you are, I guess. Urine was used for tanning. Okay, clearly I don't know what I'm talking about then. Okay. Oh, we unlocked the one chain there. That's right, I see. Hey, buddy. Mm, oh, yeah, sure. it's the seed sales thing. You have so many mouths to feed. You must need some seeds. A cult leader is always good for business. So many hungry followers with growling tummies. I'll just set up here, and if you're in need of crops, you know where I am. You don't mind, do you? Buy camellia seeds and berry bush seeds. Ooh. I'll take a few of those. We need nine followers for Anchor Deep. Okay, so we'll have to look for some more in the dark wood, I guess. And we ain't got nothing to do over there. All right, then. Can't get those critters either. All right, here we go. One last dark wood run for the day. That's actually why we have the word miasma. They blame sickness on bad smells instead of the literal human waste they had all over town. <laughs> Winds of change blow, dost thou sense it? Around us the world creaks and turns. Before it stood immobile, motionless centuries grow rust. Now leshy hath fallen, and here upon the inhabitants of this land begin their fight anew to presume power. Ye shall not find them so easily dispatched again. Mayans invented plumbing while Britain was still drinking their own poop water. Shout out, Mayans. Any Mayans in chat? Any members of the ancient Mayan race? Turn up. Ooh, kind of like these homing missiles. Pretty good, dude. We do have the additional fervor now as well. Any members of the Maya He, Maya Who? Maya Ha, Maya Ha Ha? 
Numa 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 yet. There's a good long while where I felt like it was pretty safe to assume that every human soul on the internet had seen that movie. That movie, Jesus Christ, that video. That film. As far as I'm concerned, that's like the first, yeah, the first meme, the first viral video. There's probably other better answers for that, but in my mind, that's the one. That dude made another, like, I think he's made multiple versions of it, but I think he made one very recently as well. He, he is an active participant in his own memory, which I think is phenomenal. There were so many different Numa Numa videos, there's simply no way someone my age didn't see it if they so much as heard the word internet. I, it, it was so pervasive, it was a part of so many other, like, early meme videos, too. Like, either just, like, a clip of it or just some sort of reference to Numa Numa Guy. This is the, uh, first time we've seen this person, I think. Things are getting a little more intense. Oh, I missed the card, my bad. It did. Poison damage to enemy strong. Sweet. That's a pretty damn good one. Hamster dance is part of my DNA. Ba dee ba dee be do do. Dee ba diddy do. Now hear me out. I bidi bidi di 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 bidi di ba di bidi do. Yeehaw. He's truing. Speaking of tarot, it is daytime. Said bonus damage. Crazy frog, anyone? Bring ding, 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 ding. Bring ding, 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 ding. Bring ding, 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 ding. And then I believe ba ba. What do you think about that, Taffy? What do you think about that, Taffy? Come here. Taffy, come here. Don't you run away this time. Don't you run away. No, Taffy, come here. No. No! Ah. Sorry, Tommy. We tried. Did all we could. It's about as long as we can get her to stay in here these days. Ah. Live Taffy Crazy Frog reaction. I think that's what got her in here, yeah. I want more followers. Let's go this way. I don't know why I'm continually surprised to see resources when we choose the resource node. What actually is Tommy? I'm pretty sure he's a coconut. I don't know what the heck else he'd be. Just a little coconut with a couple of beads inside him or something. Because he makes noise. He's clearly been... Well, actually, now that I think about it, how the heck did he do this? Yeah, because it's like totally sealed. It does look like maybe he like cut it in half and then put it back together somehow. Yeah, he's a little guy. Tommy's not a big guy. He's a little guy. But like you can see, you can kind of tell, I think that like the, there's two halves of it. He's got a bare bean on his butt, by the way. I think it's two halves, and then he, like, resealed them together somehow. I have no idea how he would have done it, but... <laughs> Flex tape, yeah. 
That's a lot of damage. Get me out of here, please. Hooray. How'd you get Tommy again? From St. Thomas. So he's named after. I, I purchased him from a local vendor. I, uh, I I bought something else from his table, just like a little uh, other handmade piece of art, and then he threw in Tommy for free. I was like, oh, buddy, I think actually this has been the highlight of this transaction. The other thing I got is pretty forgettable compared to Tommy. Double gold? Oh, boy. I wish to challenge Tommy to single combat. He has won. I hate to inform you, it has already taken place and, and you have failed. I don't know what this is, but I'm going to sack my health to it. Diseased hearts received in return. I feel like that's a bad trade. But, okay. Congrats, you got diseased. Whoops. Oh, geez, that's bad. Okay, so those are little spike platforms, apparently. I was wondering what those X's actually were. Nice. Revenge of the Syphilis Rock, yeah. You never escape it. Oh, I had a feeling that it would be something like that. So apparently when you get hit from a diseased heart, it hurts all the enemies in the room. That's pretty nice. Decent trade-off, I guess. We'll probably find some HP somewhere anyway. Like in a chest. Step forward, beast, from the swelling mists of chaos that surround. Allow me to regard you wholly. You carry the weight of ageless centuries upon such debutative shoulders. No. Yeah, what is this? It seems your stature is deceiving. A weapon is not without the hand it wields. To fell enemies, to defend honor, to break chains. Let your crown take the form of one of these works of iron forged in everlasting fire. May you wield the well-promised liberator. Apostate's cleaver. Touch of Tarua? Yeah, I'll grab that. Fires of my forge, I've kept the light since the first dawn. I can't explain my choice to give him that voice yet, but I'm sticking with it. For as long as I can remember to. This probably will be that room. Captain Holt would be thrilled. All right, now he's all about the balloon arc, isn't he? R.I.P. Andre Brower. Bear has already forgotten the voice, 100%. What voice? There never was a voice. Gasp! It does take a lot to actually restore one level of it. We really need it though. Cleaver's doing fine on its own. Speaking of which, Bane Axe, Bane Dagger. What am I currently rocking? The Apostates Cleaver, 3.4 and 0.5. This is just better, right? Yeah, because this is a chance to poison him. Deals the same amount of damage. Very good, Matt. Thank you. Witness Agaris. Oh, boy. Oh, got me. 
value out of that, I guess. Big boom. Oh, buddy, come on. Stop leaving, damn it. Just let me finish you off. There he goes. Nice. And then this dude's last. We got a lot of HP. No, we need lumber for the, uh, lumber yard thing. Eye of the Witness. Cool. Okay. Got a few other rooms to check out in here as well. Now you've defeated the bishop of this area, you can continue onward. Greater rewards await the further you venture. But beware, if you don't have the Omnipresence Crown ability, you will not be able to return to the cult until you reach another teleporter. Only continue onward if you're prepared to leave your cult for a little while longer. Yeah, I don't know if we are, actually. We gotta make sure they're gonna be okay. I also got a couple other rooms to check out. I ain't done being greedy yet. Give me the goods. Um, curse attack damage. Sure. You are not. Cat needs help. Yeah, I think the, the the likelihood of the entire campsite being covered in shit by the time I get back gotta be north of 80%. I don't know why I'm selling myself short. It's a near guarantee. Isn't there a setting where you can essentially pause the cult while you go out on quests? Is there? News to me, if that's the case. There's an ability that allows you to transport back to the cult at any moment, but that's, that's what you're talking about. So I don't know why I brought it up, if I'm being honest. You see me here in chains, reduced to nothing. But it has not always been thus. I was bound to this wretched place by the bishops of the old faith. They betrayed me and left me to rot. Each of the four chains that bind me are guarded by one of the bishops. Destroy the bishop and you break the chain. Break all four and I will be freed. I gave you life a new vessel and now you must repay the debt. You know what must be done. Defeat the bishops you will need to become stronger. Sacrifice a follower to absorb more power. This will aid you in your quest to free me. Oh, shit. Anybody want to sacrifice themselves in the name of bear strength? Who's first up on the chopping block? Raise your, raise your hand. Oh boy, bear, I can't wait to be sacrificed in the name of your almighty power and glory. Praise the pile. Sick. New member. New raffle. All via the extension here if you'd like to join in. Like to participate, that's how you do it. Should be working on mobile, should be working on desktop. So who's gonna be? That's gonna be Matt Cawthon Prince. Won the raffle. Welcome into the cult. We'll have another one immediately after this as well. Two new members of the pile. And we'll try to get all their uh, duties sorted out after this. 
while they're making their characters here, I have a, I have a very important work I need for you to help me out with, pile. While we're taking care of this naturally obedient jerk. Oh no. Matt the jerk. It's concerning. Here, you go ahead and worship for now, my friend. Oh, Grammar Socialist was leveled up thanks to Twitch chat. Nice. Ooh, that's nearly uh, actually here. There we go. Go ahead and unlock a refinery. Just flying along in the progress here, man. Look at all that. Okay. Outhouse available next. Certainly need that. Please spam me. Brand new follower, Raffle. We'll go ahead and get on in on that. While you're doing that, I need you to help me choose. What do? Sandwich or breakfast food? This is a really important poll, everybody. To help me determine what I'm going to eat after I finish this stream in a bit here. This, this is really important stuff. If you could please help me to decide, because I'm really, I'm at an impasse here. I don't know what the heck to do. Aries has joined the, the cult. Congrats, Aries. What kind of breakfast food? I'm thinking I'm going to whip up a very similar plate to the previous one. I'm talking fresh eggs from the farm. Some hash browns. A little bit of... Oh, you know what I'm going to make, actually? Oh, man. I think I, I I just sold myself on it. Although the sandwich I'll abide by if the, if the poll determines it. But I don't know. I feel like we, we got a lot of breakfast food fans out there. Because what I'm going to do, what I recently learned is fantastic, is... Uh, uh, oh, I forget the, the, the style of bun. It's like a bouillon or something like that. Is that right? I want to look up that word now because I think I actually got it right. A bouillon bun? No, that's a broth. Fuck. Brioche? Is that it? It's not a brioche, but it's something similar to that. There's a particular kind of bun that I'm buying. And I've made French toast out of it. And it's fantastic. I'm going to make that again, because it was really, really good. Although I bet brioche French toast would also be great. Yeah, the cynical germaphobe here with Aries, along with the strong constitution. Oh, is it Bolillo? That sounds right. It's one of those weird freaking B words, dude. It is. It's Bolillo. I don't know if that's how you even say that. I'm making Belilo French toast. Yes, it's these things. These little guys. Which I wasn't sure about. Belio. Oh, that, right, yeah, because it's Spanish. Belio, yeah. Yeah, those have been good, man. So I'm going to I'm gonna go do that. I'm going to go make some Belio French toast. Right after our sermon. Because I can't ignore this. And then we're gonna make some food for him. And then we go. And I remember this happening every time I tried to wrap up Cult of the Lamb before as well. But wait, Bear, what about this, this, that, and the other thing? Welcome back. Eric! A few more bear hugs for him, please. Thank you very much for the resubscription. Tier three. It's been a cult the whole time. You knew that. Welcome back from the pile. Thank you very much for the support. Appreciate it. That's right, more crown thing too. Okay, right after this, we'll do the crown, we'll get them fed, and then, then it's French toast time. Perform a ritual at your temple in which you distribute money to all followers to increase their loyalty. No, I think that's supposed to go the other way around, actually. You were looking for a way to get the tide done on Mass Bear? There you go, you got it. 125 bones. The cost of faith. Hey everybody, give me all your money! Yay! Oh no, that's just the loyalty reward. Wait, how did they get a loyalty reward out of that? Whatever. Anyway, here we go. A little bit of food. A little bit of food. And harvest all these bar berry bushes. And while I'm doing this, I'm gonna say thanks for watching. 
whether that be live here on twitch.tv slash bear taffy if you're watching the vod over on youtube.com slash bear taffy where you can leave a like on the video and i would really appreciate that support more cult of the lamb sins of the flesh update to, to come we got 16 coins out of harvesting that by the way that's pretty sick enjoying the return to this and the twitch integration a lot more of this fun stuff to come thanks for watching everyone whip up a few meals and I'll say uh, see you next time enjoy everybody alright thanks for watching